Well, a charging hoverboard is to blame for a fire inside a Utah County office building. The Lehigh Fire Department found that hoverboard plugged right into the wall. Yeah, it was. A uh, new special Shelby Lofton is at that building right now, and Shelby firefighters put out the flames early this morning. So when can folks actually expect to be back inside? The Lehigh Fire Department told us even though this fire was only in one office, this entire building will be closed. No one can go inside until restoration work is complete, which could take a couple of days. Just goes to show how a small fire can have big consequences. Why does it keep happening? Headlines about hoverboards. I've seen a few stories over the years. Are nothing new to Ashley Sylvia. I really just don't think people understand the danger. Her own home was in the news in 2017. I just heard my phone go off. I looked at it. Hey, I think you're house is on fire. She, her husband, children, and dog Flash had just moved into their Bluffdale home. Ceilings, walls, everything was just black. TV was melted, our blinds were melted, every stud was poking through. Firefighters told them it was a total loss. The very first thing out of my son, who is my oldest, out of his mouth was, did Flash die? They brought him out, but he was um, unrecognizable. Firefighters investigation found an explosion was the cause. There was a giant hole right here. That's where they left the hoverboard. They figured it probably was that lithium battery exploded. And found it in pieces in the basement. Sylvia wants people to know the risks that come with the toy. Somebody in your community has experienced uh, tragedy because of it. The Lehigh Fire Department recommends watching hoverboards while they charge and keep it away from combustible materials. Sylvia wishes theirs was in the garage. You can have a fire safety door that if something happens in your garage, at least it's protecting your family and your pets and everything. And the Lehigh Fire Department Battalion Chief told me you want to look for that UL stamp of approval when you're buying a product like a hoverboard. It's a sticker that UL stands for Underwriter Laboratories. In Lehigh, Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.